You want to make Neapolitan pizza, but don't want to wait 24 or even 48 hours until you can eat? Well, lucky for you, I have just the recipe you need. Hey, what is up everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make an absolutely amazing, quick Neapolitan pizza dough with just 6 to 8 hours of resting time. So let's get right to it. As always, for a classic Neapolitan pizza dough, we only need four basic ingredients. Type 00 flour, cold water, salt and yeast. Today I'm going to use my stand mixer, but you can surely knead this dough by hand. If you don't know how to do that, check out the video in the top right corner where I make pizza without any pizza equipment. So the first thing we are going to do is to pour all of our water into our mixing bowl, then add our sea salt to it and mix it up well. Once the salt is fully dissolved, we can attach this bowl to the stand mixer. The next thing we're going to do is to add about 20% of our flour into the salty water and mix it well. After that, we can add our yeast. I always do this so I don't mix salt and yeast together directly. As far as I know, the salt can slow down or maybe even kill the yeast. I'm honestly not sure if this is true because I've never tried it out, but I mean, better safe than sorry, right? Next, we can gradually add the remaining flour. I also like to occasionally scrape down the sides of my mixing bowl, because my dough machine just doesn't incorporate all of the flour. Now once all the flour is incorporated, let this dough machine do its job for about 15 minutes on a low speed. Now about 15 minutes have passed and just look how beautiful this dough turned out. Next we want to take our dough out of this mixing bowl and form a nice ball with it. This pizza dough is looking fabulous already. Super smooth and springy. Now after making a perfect ball with this and nearly knocking the bowl on the floor, cover the dough up and let it rest for about 10 to 15 minutes. This massively helps the gluten development of the dough and is a very very important step you should not leave out. Now that 15 minutes have passed, our dough is a little more relaxed and has a nice gluten structure. Next we're going to divide our dough into four equal sized pieces so we can form some dough balls. There are many different techniques how to form dough balls, so I'm just going to share an easy one. So basically you want to fold in the dough from all four sides and then try to close up the bottom side with the help of your other hand. And just like this your perfect dough ball is ready. But honestly, the technique doesn't really matter, as long as the top side is nice and smooth and the bottom is fully closed. Now that the dough balls are done, transfer them to a pizza ball box. If you don't have one of these boxes yet, you can certainly also use an ordinary baking tray with some cling film. And whether you use a dough ball box or a baking tray, make sure it is sealed airtight. Because otherwise the dough will form some sort of skin that is really unappealing and it will be hard to work with later. So now that this is done, we are going to let this dough rest for about 6 to 8 hours at room temperature. So this is what our dough looks like after 8 hours. It has risen very nicely and the shape is still perfectly intact. Now let's quickly prepare a classic margarita pizza. Now with the help of a spatula, transfer your pizza dough ball into a bowl with flour or semolina. I always like to use semolina for stretching out my dough. I think it gives a little nicer texture than just flour, but you can use whatever you like. Next you want to stretch your pizza dough from the inside out using the tips of your fingers. Now you can either continue stretching out with your fingertips or use the slap technique like I'm doing here, or use your knuckles like I show here. Next add a couple of spoonfuls of your beautiful tomato sauce and spread it evenly over your pizza. Then add your fresh mozzarella on top. Then of course Italian's national herb, a little bit of basil. Basil always makes your pizza better guys, never skip it. And last but not least, of course, your beautiful extra virgin olive oil. Now lightly dust your pizza peel with some semolina and slide your pizza over with confidence. Now the last step is to stretch out the pizza a little bit more to make it bigger and round. Now that it's done, the pizza is ready to go into the oven. And now let's quickly cook this pizza in my gas-fired Unikeru pizza oven. Guys, if you enjoyed this video thus far, I would be super happy if you could hit that like button so it reaches more people. 
By the way, I made a couple of videos about my Unikaru pizza oven, so if you're interested, feel free to check out the videos I linked for you in the top right corner. Oh look, after about 90 seconds the pizza is already done and it looks absolutely fantastic.